JJ Jibs uh, posted a comment on my earlier video on substitution with said, and he asked how we can um, substitute special characters such as quotations, uh, single quotes, uh, brackets, and and stuff such as that. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I created a file with just some random lines in it. I'm going to cut it out here to show it to you. Uh, this first line is just Chris and Janet. It's got the end symbol inside there. Uh, next one has some parentheses and quotations in it. And next one's just got some funky brackets and, and parentheses. So uh, I'm just going to pipe that file into said. And if we use single quotes such as this, a lot of those characters, it's okay just to put them in there. So let's say we want to replace the quotes in this line. Uh, and we'll just replace it with a few dashes just to make it stand out so we can see what we're doing. And then we'll end it with a single quote. Oh, wait, I made a mistake. Oh, said, said. There we go. S forward slash. There we go. And you can see it replaced uh, the quotes with these dashes here. Um, now, if you have a line, let me uh, go in there into that file for you. Nano text. If we have single quotes, uh, we're going to have an issue doing that because even because uh, if I do that, it's going to think that that's the end of the expression, and it's going to think that it's looking for more information there. Um, what we can do in that case with single quotes is we should be able to just put regular quotes and you can see that it replaced those there. Um, so if you're using single quotes, use double quotes. If you're using double quotes, use single quotes. Uh, most, most of the time you're going to use the single quotes because it's an exact reference of what's it, what you're putting in there. Um, the only time you really want to use double quotes such as we did right here is if you're replacing something with single quote or if you're replacing a variable. Um, other situations, uh, I'll give you an example here. If we want to replace the uh, square bracket, you're going to see that it doesn't work. It gives us a, an error right there. Uh, all you have to do is, with certain special characters like that, is just uh, use your backslash before it. And that's telling uh, bash that uh, and said that um, this character is not part of the command. We actually want you to replace that command, that character or use that character in whatever we're doing. And if we do that, you'll see that it replaced that with a few dashes there. Um, so if, if you put a special character into your said command and you have the single quotes and it's still not accepting it, just use a backslash. And if you have more than one, you know, uh, here I'll give you an example. We'll go back into this file, and uh, let's say we want to replace every word there. It's uh, bracket, bracket, like that. You're going to have to to do that for each one. So that, and then backslash, and another bracket, and it replaces both of them. Now, if you want to just replace... Um, single, see there, we're doing it for each one we're putting so that's why there's there's more dashes here there's eight as opposed to four uh, so it's still replacing each one we're up here we're replacing two in a row uh, but that's that's the, the simple part of it most special characters as long as you're using the single quotes will work fine if not just use the backslash and the only time that I saw where that would be an issue is uh, with the single quotes even I would think that using the backslash before it would signify it, but for some reason it wasn't when I was testing this out. So I would uh, just use double quotes in that situation. And if you're going to be using a variable in the command, you want to use double quotes. So I hope that answers your question, JJ Jibs. Uh, if not, post another comment and I'll try to answer your question. Uh, for more videos and tutorials like this, visit bashscripts.info uh, and have a great day.